Hey, so I want to talk today about um, yearly planning. Now, I have this uh, fantastic friend, Tim Randall, who messages me at like the end or the beginning of every year saying, hey, we, uh, we should plan next year, or we should plan like this year, um, which is awesome, <laughs> like, inc and, like fantastic. I like love, love him because of this, and uh, it's, it's great. And what's really good about it is that um, he does it with a group. So he says, all right, like we're gonna message these people. We like he messages like a few of like a few of us. We all sort of agree to do it, and that's that's it. That's the important bit right there. We all agreed to do it. So um, once I've committed to this date, and I've got other people sort of like expecting me to be there, I end up doing it. I go, all right, well, like it's hard to organize this many people to do it, and the more people, like sort of like people that plan their year and people that are friends with Tim, I know are really valuable people to do this with. Therefore, I'm gonna get so much more out of it if I do it with them rather than if I do it alone. And so therefore, it's uh, it more likely to happen. Now, yearly planning is just pretty much just like looking ahead at the, r the rest of the year and saying like, hey, like, what do I want to accomplish this year? Which is um, a really important thing, a really valuable thing to do. Because you, he, there was a great quote he gave me where uh, people, people sort of like they, underestimate, I was like, they overestimate what they can do in a month and underestimate what they can do in a year or something like that. And, uh, it's, 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 it's interesting because like pretty much since I've been doing this, I will set some sort of like ridiculous goal at the start. Like my, my first one, right, was, or maybe my second or third one was like, I want to go to Silicon Valley this year and now I live here. And that was like, it was literally like, it, that was it. Like, cause you know, I had it in my mind. Like years before, I, I just sort of put it on paper, and then we had this meeting. I'm like, no, I want to go to Silicon Valley this year, and that's how it happened. So like sometimes, yeah, you just put ridiculous things down at the beginning of the year that you really want to see happen, and they they end up happening. So it's it's yeah, it's a really valuable thing to be uh, to be doing. But what's uh what really helps is having a good sort of like focus group, a group that you can sort of like. They're depending on you, you're depending on them, so therefore it does end up happening. And for the last three days, we've like been Skyping every day um, in the afternoon and just making new plans. Like the last one was financial, and uh, I'll go into more detail about that in another video. But if you don't have that friend who's pushing you to uh, to do that, sort of like to, to do that yearly uh, looking ahead, be that friend. You go find like the, the most valuable people that you think are in your life and you say, hey, look, do you want to plan our year together? Because like, even if they've already been planning their year, then maybe they'll do it next time or maybe they'll just want you to look over their plans. And that's, that's really helpful there, having people look over your plans and being able to look over other people's plans because they give you feedback, but then you see what other people are doing and you learn from that. So yeah, if you don't have that friend, be that friend. It's probably like he's, I'm sure, much better off because he has us helping him just as much, or yeah, like as much as we have him helping us. And he's he's the one that's sort of pulling this this community of like just really motivated in individuals together, which he wouldn't otherwise like have if he hadn't have done that. Yeah. All right, bye.